Capricorn, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your reading for the second half of September. So let's go ahead and grab your first focus message here. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout the reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally. So I'm going to start with my Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck here. Let's grab a focus card for Capricorn. Alright, ooh, we have the storm, okay. So this card reads, we've been through the storm when it comes to the trials and tribulations of our relationship. There were times when I wasn't sure we would overcome it. There were times I found myself barely holding on, but any love worth fighting for is worth holding on to. I'm glad we didn't let go. Now, whether you did let go or not, it does seem that there was a tower type experience in your partnership. Let's go ahead and grab a second focus card from the relationship design cards. This is by Sister Moon Tarot. So let's see. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. What else do we need to know about this storm? Intuition, hunches, go within, trust. There could have also been trust issues in the relationship, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and clarify this with some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos tarot deck. For Capricorn, second half of the month. We've got the Hermit. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here. And I feel these two cards go together. You know, when we are soul searching, a lot of times that requires us to trust our intuition and what we're feeling in our heart space, you know, going within. So that makes sense that that would come through in that way. Whatever your intuition is telling you, Capricorn, perhaps it had something to do with this situation here. Now take a look at the next card. We have the three of swords. We don't experience this type of storm unless it was a difficult, rather challenging thing that occurred. And so it might have ended up hurting you, breaking your heart. We do have something that was lost here. The relationship went into separation. You know, we're grieving through a loss with that card and it hurt tremendously. There could have been a love triangle or a third party situation. Let's see what else. Look at that. We have the lover's card. Some of you could also have been dealing with a Gemini. So you couple this up with these cards and this could have represented a love triangle because the lover's card can certainly represent that at times and the sexual attraction could have been very intense the chemistry could have been very strong but somebody could have also been in another relationship and this created a tower moment i feel so somebody made a choice perhaps that they should not have done they shouldn't have made that choice all right, what else? Because that one choice ended up hurting people, I feel. We do have the King of Cups coming through. I can't help but feel somebody was married here. Um, it could have been a masculine, but it could also now represent the fact that we have a masculine who's more mature, their heart is now open to the type of love that doesn't require any drama. And I feel with the King of Cups being very loving and affectionate and devoted to the partnership, they're not wanting to get themselves mixed up in situations like third parties and love triangles. We have Judgment coming through here, the Judgment card representing Libra specifically. I feel this is a masculine that has had the opportunity to, as we can see, soul search, do some, spending some time to be able to figure things out here because of whatever this represented. You know, we've been through the storm and whatever those trials and tribulations are, they've had the opportunity to assess that in the past. This is 
somebody from your past that seems to be thinking about you still, or you're thinking about someone from your past. It seems here that there's a conversation that may resurface having to do with this relationship from your past. And it could involve closure, it could involve apologies, and certainly be able to help you guys move forward, whether it results in a separation that simply has closure, or it results in a reunion, giving you guys another opportunity at love here. We do have the Ace of Swords, and that I feel contributes to the healing, because this right here is clarity. This right here is allowing someone, or maybe you, Capricorn, to think a lot clearer when it comes to this situation. You know, you guys could still have love in your heart for this person, but I feel there's a lot to talk about here. If it was a third party situation, maybe that has now been cut out and that's no longer part of the situation here. Something needed to be cut out. We do have the three of pentacles. So if it was a matter of closing the door on infidelity and cheating, for example, I feel that's now giving you both the opportunity to work together to heal this partnership, to have a reunion. Look at this, the devil representing Capricorn. So either you represent the Capricorn or you are cross-watching for a Capricorn individual. And part of the reason why there was this storm was because they could have been in this devil energy where they were tempted by something else or someone else and they acted on it, you know? And if you were on the receiving end of being cheated on, for example, you know, if you trusted your gut, your intuition, and you felt something was off, that's more than likely what created a separation here. Some lessons definitely were learned, okay? And the Hierophant representing Taurus, I feel there's someone here who's ready to commit and they recognize that they weren't exactly in that mental space or in that type of heart space, ready to give their all towards committing to a partnership at that time. So it could be part of the conversation that they want to apologize for that, wanting a second chance. So it does require two people to be on the same page and to be able to work this out. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the next batch of cards represents. This is the Truth deck here, the Soulmate Edition by Pretty Spirits. For Capricorn, what else do we need to know here? Let's see if it goes together or if this is just a completely different message. We have transformation, okay? We also have faithful. So that could certainly be a good thing if somebody that you couldn't trust before, maybe they've worked on that, but it requires both of you, again, to be on board. Look at this, see each other soon. So it does seem here that there is the opportunity to reconnect in the 3D feeling nervous. And lastly, we have friends first. So for those of you that have been through a very difficult breakup and separation because of infidelity or whatever reason, part of the change here is to maybe start slow, start off as friends, you know, just start back at the beginning rather than falling right back into a romantic partnership. And this is natural that either of you would be feeling these types of nerves are feeling anxious because of this initial meeting after having had a breakup or a falling out, you know, because to be faithful towards a partner, that's ultimately what needs to be worked on, I feel, just based off of what we've seen. Okay, so let's grab some clarif clarifying message if I can speak today. All right, so from my modern day seers, Tarot and Oracle. This is Tarot with a twist for those of you who are unfamiliar with this deck. It's got all of the usual Tarot messages, but I've also added 
oracle messages as well as additional court cards. All right, let's see. For Capricorn, look at this. This makes total sense for me considering the devil card represents not only Capricorn, but it certainly represents the shadow self. So this message says, aren't you tired of being in the shadows? Why are you here? Misery loves company, they say. Is that the reality that you want to encapsulate within you? How long do you plan on staying? I am here to help guide you through this very dark time in your life, but only when you are ready to break free from the chains that bind you. It's time to do the shadow work. When you are ready, I will help lead you down the road where the sun is waiting to shine for you. And that certainly is a part of the transformation. So this is a Capricorn reading. So for my Capricorns who have been in that dark place, I feel that there's change that's coming to be able to break you free from that type of experience. Look at this. We have the Baron of Earth representing divine masculine earth signs. That certainly includes Capricorn. Could pertain to Taurus or Virgo as well. So the interpretation in the upright, this is someone who plays it safe. They can be very confident. They are a very loving person. They have a strong sense of duty. Could be very caring and protective. This is the masculine and it's right next to faithful and for my feminines i feel that's exactly what it is that you're hoping for from your masculine i love these cards and the direction that it's going we've got the angel of hope and then we have the six of swords which is such a good thing because this card right here it says you've lost your way the six of swords is telling us that through some sort of healing that happened, there was this need to move away from whatever didn't work in the past, to release past baggage, to move on from that, to leave it behind, because it just was not meant to be a part of your future, perhaps, you know? So this card goes on to say, you've lost your way, your sense of direction, which way is up and which way is down? Which way takes you away from who you are? and which way shows you the path you're meant to travel. This is not the end. I am here to help restore the faith within you to let you know that there is a ray of sunshine, a glimmer of hope that you fail to see. Open your eyes, I am here. So both of these cards is talking about the sun, the energy of the sun, which is very positive and joyful and very successful. And so I feel whoever represents that, and I feel... Since Capricorn, again, the devil energy represents your own vibe, that there's something to do with you that you're meant to move on from that. Whatever has challenged you, it doesn't necessarily have to only be focused on your love life either. Okay, let's see what else. What else, please, for Capricorn? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, Part of moving on might even have something to do with your work environment. This could represent new jobs. This could represent you putting in the effort into your life, okay? Wanting to achieve particular goals, whether that's love, romance, or something else. We also have Archangel Raguel coming in. I am the angel who can restore harmony, heal conflicts and arguments, as well as mending understandings in your relationships. I can help you gain the wisdom to smooth out tensions and hostilities in your romantic connections. My presence can aid in bringing in peace, forgiveness, and the calm of God's grace and blessings. I can help you miraculously heal even the most difficult love situations. So I really feel for you, Capricorn, that that's, that's fitting the way that that's presenting itself here. And love will surround you again. You've got the Two of Cups. So there, there is a good chance that even though you might reconnect with somebody, you guys might just start off as friends again, but it can turn into love as well, you know, in time. It's either that or part of your transformation is to distance yourself from situations that are toxic, that are not good for you, and in time will allow you to be able to connect with people that could be lifelong friends as well as giving you the experience and love that has eluded you thus far. It could be that as well. 
We've got the Baroness of Earth representing Divine Feminine, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So whether you are masculine or feminine, there's a message here for you. Okay, so why is this so fitting? Look at this. So remember, we have the Baron of Earth. So the Divine counterpart for the Baron of Earth is the Baroness of Earth. You both could be representing Earth signs here. So take that if it makes sense but I really do feel this is your divine counterpart in this lifetime. And maybe things weren't always running smoothly in the partnership, but I feel that this transformation is what's going to help move you guys forward. Look at this, we have the judgment card. So I really do feel this is a conversation that will be had in time. That's why it's coming through twice. Okay, so someone's going through their awakening that could be you, Capricorn, or it could be both of you. There's the opportunity for forgiveness. We see that here. And I feel it's not impossible that some of you might even have a chance for reconciliation. Okay. And we have Archangel Gabriel as well as the star. You could also be dealing with Aquarius here. So this card does say I am the angel known as the master of communication. If you're having trouble expressing yourself to your beloved, I am here to assist. I can inspire writers, teachers, journalists, and artists to convey their messages with clarity and grace. I can help you overcome your limitations so you can finally say the right thing to the right person at the right time. If you struggle with conveying your emotions, call on me. I will be there for you. So take any part of that message, Capricorn, that makes sense. But I do feel that in time, you do have a wish, one particular wish that can manifest in the 3D. That could certainly have something to do with a particular someone that you're focused on and wanting to bring them back into your life. And I feel also you're being directed to take better care of yourself, whether that's physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, however way that needs to happen. If you have lost hope in a particular situation, you're being directed to trust the journey because hope can absolutely be restored. All right, so that's what's coming through there. And I've been wrapping up these readings with some angel messages, healing messages. I feel for your reading, Capricorn, that certainly is needed. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some final messages for you to wrap this up. All right, here we go. I apologize for the background noise. I think my husband is doing some work downstairs. He forgets I'm up here. <laughs> we do have self-acceptance. That's very important. Now take a look at the next message. We've got body care. So there's something here, clearly, that you need to focus on when it comes to your well-being, Capricorn. Look at this. And we have Archangel Michael. We have friendship. And we have new beginnings coming in for you. So I really do feel that at this time, your friends play a very important role for you. Okay? Friends first. And then we have friendship. So there's a reason why that's coming through. I feel they're a very good support system for you. And also, if somebody does resurface in your life, just honor the fact that you guys have to maybe explore the friendship again before you can have this new beginning as romantic partners. But this can apply to so many other areas of your life as well. Capricorn, not just your love life. Okay, so I'll leave that there, guys. Hopefully there's something in the messages that resonate for you. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. <music>